you think cell phone, the internet, and all that stuff, has it like taken away from human connections, like human conversations? And I think it has taken has. away. Why do you think that? Um, like with my friend group, yeah. I think we're pretty outdoorsy. Yeah. And like we kind of stay away from phones and stuff. But I think most of society has taken it to the next level. Where they're like carrying battery packs, right? Yeah. And like yeah. the whole, like just That's constantly fine. on your phone, on your phone. On your phone yeah. Like it's gotten to the point where it's hurtful. Hurtful. I can understand that. I see a lot of people like, even when they go camping. Yeah. You know, they're miles away from a cell phone yeah. tower. But they still bring the battery with them. Yeah. Because they can still use apps like offline. Yeah. It's, I don't know. <laughs> so I feel like people who, like you can tell, like adults or different generation um, who aren't more rooted in technology, even like people my age who don't use their phones or aren't on social media as much, they communicate in a different way. And it's almost like you're not on the same wavelength. So it ah, kind of helps people okay. stay connected on the same level. You can kind of see that like past generations aren't as easily connected if you know what i mean when you meet someone for the first time it's kind of awkward oh yeah yeah. I, I, and, yeah there's like an I inherent that. I get that. yeah I get there's that. like an inherent like oh like yeah yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. and there's like just a lot of small talk and a lot of catching up right a lot of catching up because you haven't done that anywhere else there's no other kind of channel for you to do that but isn't that a good thing though like if you haven't seen someone for a while like that's like new that's new news i think yeah. it's strange that you know you meet your friend up and you have nothing to talk about because you talk about all that shit on like messenger yeah yeah, yeah. there's the case sometimes it's like oversaturation right yeah they like, get too much of it and then it like screws up the entire balance i do find like when i meet new people oh i've already seen the profile on instagram i've already seen them like uh, on social media, so mutual friends. Okay. It's almost more interesting because it makes me think like, oh, this person is out there with their life because I've seen it. And then meeting them for the first time, it's like, oh, what more is there? And it's more interesting because then I can get past all the, the surface stuff. I hate oh, okay. the surface I, stuff. Like, I, I, I don't I, like the small I, I, talk. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I, I don't like you. the small talk. So I hear like, like, yeah, I saw, yeah. I saw your post that you went to like Paris. How yeah, was that? Right. And then it's not like awkward, like you're searching for like basic, really basic, uninteresting things to talk about. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? And yeah, then you yeah, come yeah. out the conversation like, shit, I didn't learn anything about this person. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So um, it kind of like social media kind of lets me skip a bit of that. And then also bring up like, oh, how do you know this person? Right? Because I've oh, seen yeah, the mutual yeah, yeah. so friends. Yeah. And then there's, you get into the stories. And then in a very short period of time, you're able to learn a lot about this person, a lot of the funny stories, the memories. So it kind of like speeds things up a little. So it makes us less strangers. Yeah. Easier to connect on a deeper level. Yeah. I hear that. Taken away from human connections. Oh, human yeah. conversations. Oh, 100%. I think so. My friends are in Ontario and stuff. So I call them. I call them more than we text, honestly. And even my friends here, I much rather meet up in person or set up a date via text to meet up. But I can't just have texting or internet friendships. It's just not for me. It's just, yeah, you need that. You know, face to face. Yeah, well, I, I, I like you and for face you. Time. Not FaceTime. Not FaceTime. Face to face, but not FaceTime. <laughs> I like you for you. Like, I like talking to you yeah. because of like your mannerisms or your personality. So obviously that can't be conveyed over text. Yeah. What would you tell people? Like how, like, it's difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult to convince the people that are completely addicted yeah. to cell phone. Because they don't know they're addicted. They don't know they're addicted. And they think it's fine because everyone else does it. But how, what would you tell, like, you know, people that have friends or are like that i would say it's sounds bad but like it's fine to be addicted to your phone but know the time and place of when you can be versus when you have to like be in the moment for other people or just for yourself because like it's your life you're living even just walking around when people are on their phone i'm like I look at all the, you're in bc it's gorgeous i see that a lot so i think a lot of it's just time and place and appropriability and it's like you have to like figure that out yeah okay when your friends are shouting at you when you're meeting out with them I think it's time for an intervention. Oh, like shouting at you to get off your yeah, phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll call people out. I call my mom out sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah, like when she's... I was like, you taught me no phones at the dinner table. Oh. You can't have phones here, so... <laughs> nice. I'll give you props for that. Thank you. Thank you. That's really gutsy. <laughs> Power move, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if I'd call my dad out if he's using a cell phone. I don't think I'll do that. My dad never uses his phone. No? He never replies. He's, he's old school, man. He's old school. Yeah. Then. Yeah. He emails. My, my dad found out about, like, streaming internet oh gosh videos yeah and i've hit my like bandwidth usage for the month i was like what the heck i don't even stream that much that's when you move out and you're that's just you like, move out. And you're just that's like, when you cut internet from your dad and your parents and then they ask you why and you just explain it on mother nature or something the gravity's too strong it doesn't go upstairs <laughs> It's the width and it's the width it's and the, physics. Yeah. It's you physics, know? you know, you have to go to school for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it definitely has. Like people are more like socially awkward and just like they don't want to like talk to people as much now because it's like, oh I can just talk to my friends on my phone, like why should I talk to actual people? And their expressions are always the same on the phones. Pretty much. I feel like they should teach 
social interactions now in school because of this. It's lacking. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. They probably should, honestly. Like, yeah. It's kind of bad. But... Did your parents use your cell phones? My mom uses her phone a lot. My dad, not so much because he's like more older generation. Yeah, my dad too. I think dads are like super chill. They don't like, eh. Yeah, pretty much. That's Whatever. my dad. He uses it to call and that's about it. He still makes phone calls. Yeah. There, there are a select few. There's not many people that make phone calls anymore. Really? Not like bad. my friends ignore phone calls. I've, I've seen people ignore phone calls. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, man. They prefer to text. Sometimes I do too. It's like people get annoying. Yeah. You know, if you have like your sister that calls you. I wouldn't know. I don't have a sister. Oh, okay. Well, but, but does yeah, your mom call you? Um, not really. She just texts me, honestly. She's chill about it. Yeah. Yeah. She's really phone oriented, I guess. I don't okay. Know. She's her phone a lot. Is like a text every like day? Oh uh, no. Two minutes? Like once a week. Wow, she's so chill. That's yeah. a cool mom. Yeah, it's a, shout it's out to chill. his mom. Yeah, shout out to my mom. <laughs> Super chill.